So we're on uh, another location today. We are at a friend's house, a beautiful old Georgian farmhouse. And they've got a bit of a dodgy wall situation, but they've also got a load of render that they're thinking about looking at taking off. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a quick look at the front of the house, which is beautiful, and also the other side. Uh, it's a listed place, it's really old solid stone walls, and it's just been bodged, so we're gonna have a look, see what we can do. Usually on properties, certainly around here, period properties, you have like the dressed stone on the front um, elevation of the house, and then on the side it's more of a sort of a random stone course, um, and that is kind of what we're expecting to find underneath the render the other end. Now most of this uh, above here is still lime render, but you can see here it's been patched with cement render, uh, cement pointing here. So. There's certain bits which are not ideal, but we're just going to leave them in place. It's just what we are able to discover the other side. So it's this corner here where it begins. You can see there's a, a corner of render there and it carries on. And you can see the different generations of render. You see just about top left up here, there's a really smooth patch which has been done probably in the last decade or two. And then top right, it's all flaking away. Possibly that's older. This is our problem area anyway, so we're gonna cut away, I've marked out, cut away a test sample. We've got some in here which is definitely lime, original or older render. And then here which is much harder cement. Right, so what you're looking at here is an aerial image from probably sometime back in the 60s, 70s uh, of when this was a working farm. And you can see the end, the gable end is rendered then and painted, but also a bit of a revelation is that back section of the house was also rendered at that time. And that's been chipped off and you can see the stonework currently. So that gable end and the bit around the corner we're working on um, I imagine were probably rendered as a way to improve the weatherproofing or the water tightness uh, from the prevailing wind and rain, perhaps. Um, however, I think taking it back to the stonework is going to be much kinder to the stonework and also a really decent lime uh, pointed wall is still going to be able to shed the rain fine and make sure that nothing's trapped in that wall like it has been with the cement render. Right, very briefly, whilst they stopped uh, angle grinding the road outside, uh, I'll give you a quick look at how we've got on so far. So I've taken out this whole area, and you can tell this is just that lime render, and it won't be original, because we've already established the other end of the house was never rendered, um, but it's 60, 70 years or older. Um, whereas we have found these areas where there's cement. You can see it's darker here, it's probably some old sort of style of cement, and this is much much harder and more brittle but interestingly it is coming off fairly clean you can get behind it and pull a whole section off but up here where you can see the lime it's all nice and dry because that lime's breathable no smell at all as soon as you get down here you can see that it's much darker the stonework it feels damp i put my skin on it and there's a smell of you know damp but it is a slightly different stone from the front there's some more of the red in here Red Lias, which is our, like one of our local limestones here. Um, and of course, if we take all this off, it's going to have to be repointed. You can also make out 
in this lime mortar there's some little black flecks and that's quite um, common for here that's actually bits of coal dust or cut waste from the coal mines around here um, which maybe they bulk it out with I don't know but we've got that in our house too already another area here where there's a completely different generation of cement mortar or sorry cement render much lighter in colour and this has been patched since then still coming off the stonework which means that's a good thing really it either means there was already lime dust or some lime ren um, render on there which is coming off first or it was just a bad render job and that the stone sucked the moisture out of it too quickly maybe and it's coming away so it's coming away clean and that's what we wanted trying to keep within our line here just so we've got a neat sample area So I'm getting there, the majority of it's coming off well. Now I'm moving to the far corner where the corner stones, the coins, I think they're called, the, the sort of dressed uh, square stone is there. And that's much more decorative. And if I can, we need to get that really clean uh, because that will be kind of one of the features. The trouble is that really fine cement render that's on there is just, it's almost like um, ceramic. It's just like a really brittle, uh, dense material. So I'm hoping it hasn't fused into the stonework because it's really hard to get off. I tell you what, it's actually more like gypsum. It's like, um, yeah, it's almost like a, a finishing gypsum plaster. It's that really, really fine. I'm not even sure it is cement. Yeah, there's no big aggregate in it and it's actually quite shiny anyway let's keep chipping beginning to think it's not going to be those really square stones there i reckon it's going to be larger natural stones if you look up over my shoulder you can see they're much more random on that section i think by now i would have got into some of the square stone so you definitely expect to see it on the front which is what's there, but if we go around to the other side, this is another more recent addition. If you look up at the equivalent back corner, then it has stone up there, but as you get lower, you can see it stops and it becomes more natural stone, which makes it completely feasible that this is actually original, this section here because they've stopped those coins up there at a certain point. And maybe this section was done at the same time. Judging by the really old lintel there. And you can see here, 1616, I mean, this is an old property. And when you're trying to determine whether something's 400 years old or 300 years old, it's pretty tricky. I don't know if you can see now where all the patching's been done, but just so not a subtle way to repair a wall. I almost don't mind all this texture. It's just where they've got that stark rendered section. But I think I'm gonna call it a morning there. I've just done an eight or 10 little window to investigate that. We've proved to ourselves that the cement render does come off. The lime render comes off nicely. The stonework is sound, it needs a good clean up, which I'm gonna do now, uh, to a point where it could easily be pointed by a stonemason. This corner comes away, it's flipping hard and very, very uh, time consuming, but I've proved that that will come off clean and expose our big kind of corner stones. And all this, where it's probably a little bit more damp than above, will dry out, especially at the moment where it's baking the temperatures and just really dry heat. So all of that will 
help to get this ready for pointing. Now remember the house is listed, so we've just um, done a bit of in this investigation there, spoken to some people, and they're going to get in touch with the conservation officer for of the area. Uh, for those of you not in the UK, a listed building here in the UK uh, is a building that's been uh, designated that it's um, it, kind of almost like a preservation order on it in that major external alterations can't be done without approval. So all the historic kind of buildings older than sort of Victorian backwards or even some modern ones if they're really unique um, they can get listed and they they go on to a record basically. So this while it is actually going back to the original uh, feature of the house which would be the stone at the point it's listed or so I believe at that window that snapshot in time that's how it's listed so you can get into bizarre situations where a house has had really bizarre bad alterations made to it but because it's been listed with them you have to go through all sorts of formalities to get it restored back to how it was hopefully render isn't one of those especially in this situation uh, but they're gonna check it all out and do it by the book our alternative anyway is to uh, to repair this anyway in a lime mortar, a lime render. For now I'm going to give this a final tidy up, see how nice we can get this stone looking and whether that gives us a bit more motivation to carry on and do the whole wall. we're done once again you have to excuse me road work team seem to just chase me around the place the stone isn't half as bad as it could be it could have been a lot worse and things could be bonded to it but it's not a dressed stone like the front of the house but it's kind of like what we expected it would be it's going to take quite a lot of work and cleaning up before pointing so it could look pretty similar to up here of course the only problem is here you've got that modern cement render. I say modern, could be 70 years old, but it's still uh, not the way that we'll need to go, especially if we're going the conservation route through uh, all the departments. They'll expect to use a lime mortar, which is the correct way to go anyway. But that's me done. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a on tour type video. I'll keep you updated on this one when the decisions have been made, when the protocols are being followed, and we'll see uh, what route they want to go. There's a few more restoration type uh, investigation videos on the channel. I'll try and dig up some of those and stick them at the end to do with older buildings and older building techniques. But apart from that, that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.